Hello, and welcome to episode 4 of my Zombie Army 4 Dead War playthrough. I am Stud Doogie. In this series, we are undertaking the campaign missions of Zombie Army 4. It's a challenge run, so we're going to be playing on hard difficulty uh, with enemy scaling set up for 4 players. This means there's going to be a lot more zombies, and boss health is going to be really high because the game, even though I'm playing solo, is going to be treating it as if there are 4 players in the game. Uh, so in this episode is the first chapter of the second um, mission or the, the second campaign. So there's some story stuff coming up that I'm going to let play out and pick it up from there in a couple seconds or a minute or so, I think. It wasn't just Milan. Bases have been going dark all over Europe. Command has ordered all teams to evacuate to fortified positions. Venice is the nearest. We can only hope it's still intact. Rendezvous with Captain Dutton and help him hold the city while our occult experts figure out what's causing this and how we can fight back. All right. So this is all about being on the water in this series, or at least this, uh, this second, it's not a chapter, it's a second mission, I suppose, or the second part of the campaign. Um, I like the dialogue of the guy in the boat. He's like a legit coward. And you can't be mad at him, man. Like, you know, zombie apocalypse is just crazy talk, just crazy shit. And those of you who have survived the last year, month or so with this insurrection, all this kind of stuff, this pandemic that has people locked in their homes, radically changing their lives, you know, that's about as dramatic as it gets. It's not that zombies coming to eat your brains, but it's pretty life altering. So I think uh, we can understand somebody who's just kind of freaking out being in a difficult situation with this dude on the boat he hasn't said anything yet but once he starts talking you'll see like dude's been uh dude is stressed <laughs> dude is really stressed as i said before i will be talking over the dialogue in the game though i will let it play out so for example if there's some dialogue to play out and i'm standing by the safe house i'm going to wait until the dialogue finishes before entering the safe house but if you want to hear or want to know what is being said, just read the subtitles. So this dude is going to try to convince us not to do our mission. So, like, read the subtitles. So I will be going for the challenge here, which is to get 70 kills while the boat is moving. And here you're going to see really how powerful Carl's ability to utilize Empty Lung is. Like, he has... Uh, the best ability to use empty lung compared to every other character in the game at least this far you know maybe they'll add new characters later whose inherent perks surpass his but he can stay especially if you put the right perks on your loadout he can stay in empty lung for a long time and I'm gonna be utilizing the heck out of that to get my 60 kills See, that's him trying to talk us out of completing the mission. He wants us to run away to free Paris. Look at that. Like, look, look at the the stamina meter and how slow it's going down. Ah, come on. This game is bullshit and you're not giving my shots. And so all these kills, another reason I love the Grare, or I don't know how to pronounce that, the sniper rifle that I'm using. So in this game, there's a trade-off between power and ammunition. So the more powerful the gun, the smaller the amount of ammunition in the magazine, which is generally at 5. But we can get up to 30 uh, with this gun. 
And the benefit, of course, of being able to get 30 is that you, and plus it has a high fire rate. So I think overall it's DPS is probably the highest in the game because you can just basically keep shooting. So your individual shots aren't as powerful, but you can do more of them per unit of time than any other gun. Victor cracks me up, man. Like Victor's like, screw this shit. We need to bounce. Nothing you do matters. We were closest to Venice, so here we are. Orders are to provide reinforcement to the survivors in an attempt to secure the base. I like that chat a lot. It was like like the last second between before he goes out of frame. So landing that is pretty sweet. Get that body shot, keep the combo going. Like here. Now I gotta be his bodyguard. Dude is just crazy, man. He is crazed. He is freaked the fuck out. Don't let them get me. I mean, like, if this shit was real and you found yourself in that situation, who would you be? Would you be like Victor and freaking the fuck out? Or would you be, you know, calm, cool, collected, putting yourself in harm's way? He's still trying to convince us to bounce. Like, fuck this shit. Screw orders. Let's get out of this shit alive. Personally, I thought that shot should have hit, but... What is... Yeah. There are some hit detection issues in this game. It's not a ton. But it's enough to be annoying sometimes, to be honest. Like that. What the... That was a hit. Come on. Got domed, bitch. That should have been a twofer. So that that wasn't even red, and I hit it. So it's not like you have to wait for it to be red. It just needs to be on target. But sometimes it just won't register. So we're up to forty-seven already. Easy way to keep the combo going with that one. What was that? It went right through him. <sighs> this is why I don't do the pistol, man. Not worth it. Down. Trying to get triples, but it's not going to work. Can you believe nobody stepped on that mine? Nobody stepped on that fucking mine. Some bullshit. Don't call me elite for nothing. You sons of bitches, ignoring my mind. I put it there for you. There's no appreciation for my thoughtfulness. You know, like zombies just don't give a damn about thoughtfulness. All they care about is brains. I discovered something new uh, for this particular mission recently. We'll discuss it when we get there, but I've done this thing a ton of times before and I didn't know that what I discovered was a thing. So we'll discuss the thing later in this thing. 
I'm gonna maximize the hell out this damn combo. That was a waste. I really hate that whole, um, what you call it, sniper rifle glancing off of a helmet. That's bullshit. Sniper rifles pierce helmets. See, I should have blown it up then. Because then I would have got all those motherfuckers at the same time. Body shot. Keep the combo going. Hey, buddy. Seriously, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Planning a mine. Keep the combo going. So we switched to the shotgun because we have the ammo crate right here. Keep the combo going. Like, when am I going to learn the lesson that you have to be um, right on top of these dudes for this thing, for the shotgun to do the work it needs to do? It's got that nice tight reticle, so you kind of get the sense that maybe, you know, it can do some damage at range, but that's not what it is. It's a shotgun. No damage at range. They need to be up close. Keep the combo going. Now you're saying, oh my god, the combo's dead. No, it's not. It's a rat. It's the rat extension. How long can we keep this combo going? This is what I discovered. That you can get on the boat. And, and ride with the boat. Usually... Because my plan was to run back and get this thing. And just go ham. But if you stay on the boat, well, you just ride with the boat. So I'm trying to get my 60 kills, which is why I switched. And I freaking missed. But that was a legit miss. There's no... The game didn't jit me on that one. That was, that was my failure as a player. Um, the shame is all mine. Four, three more to go. Can I get three? That did not count. One more. Uno mas. Uno mas. 121. That wasn't a kill. That was just a shot. There we go. Booyah, bitches. So we're going to get introduced to a new enemy type here pretty soon. The enemy type I hate the most. Because they're just assholes. You know? Like zombies are douchebags in general. But these douchebags are particularly asshole-ish. Yeah, bitch. Because I'm the sniper. Not you. Victor's like, where? Where's the sniper? I don't want to die. It's all good, Victor. I got your back, homie. I got your back, homie. And like I said, he's a coward, but I'm not mad at him. Like, if this was like a legit situation, man, like, you know, you can't be mad at dude. You can't be mad at dude for freaking out that the dead have risen and trying to eat your ass. And I'm not talking about eat your ass in a sexual way. I mean like murder you and chew you up and not even spit you out. Not even shit you out because I don't think your digestive systems work.
I love that part. It's like, you think I want to stop? <laughs> I like this next section here because you have so many uh, responsibilities to juggle. <laughs> you ain't fooling nobody, Victor. One down. You missed, bitch. I did too. Fuck. I didn't that time, but it wasn't a headshot. I got. You. Took my time with that one. So that's what I mean. Like, you have respond different things to manage. You have to manage the guys at range. You gotta manage the zombies right on top of you and sort of prioritizing and keeping all of that going makes it an interesting fight. Because with the slow zombies in this game, sometimes it might seem like all you have to do is just stand still and uh, hit your shots, which to some extent you do. But when you're kind of faced with these kind of enemies, yeah, bitch, I love that shot. And you face with these kind of enemies and you have to, you know, sort of prioritize your targets and keep it moving. It makes it even more interesting. Fuck you. Mm. I don't know why I hate those fuckers so much. And it's so satisfying to fuck them up. So there's going to be a lot of setup here in this next bit. Because once... The um, once we start picking up the fuel, shot me. was that a hit? It looks like a hit. Yeah, got you before you had a chance to set up. Yeah, so once we start picking up the fuel containers, things are going to move at a pretty aggressive clip. So this is like a, a calm before the storm, a lull in the action, as it were. Where is it? Oh, yeah, I know. It's on the side, I think. All right. So I'm going to identify them. You're not going to pick them up because not everything has been set up yet. So it's like doing recon. We're going to re reconnaissance and identify the... Uh, we're going to do a reconnaissance to identify where they are and then game out a plan. I thought he was going to walk into it, which is why I didn't adjust my aim, but he was committed to where the hell he was going. Got another can here. Sometimes they, uh, the snipers will be in this area while you're going... Uh, reconning for the cans, but not this time. Alright, so now we know where they are. Did I say where they are or where they are? Should be where. I mean, obviously. Alright, it's time to set the scene, set the stage. I have blown myself up so many times with these damn mines and not because I step on them or anything, but because the air effect is ridiculous sometimes. Because you can put it on the ground floor and be on the second floor and it goes off on the ground floor and takes you, you know, does damage to you. 
So I've opted for the grenade instead of the mines because the mines are dangerous. Found the last can. All right, here we go. It's heavy. Be careful. When carrying something heavy, you'll only have access to your sidearm. So, which is, you saw how the, the, the arcs went out and took those guys out with one shot, which is why I put the, um, the attachment put the attachment on the pistol, which I generally don't like to do. But whenever we have to carry something and we only have access to our sidearm, having the attachment there is the best course of action. How do you two survive that explosive? I call bullshit on the play ref. I wish there was more opportunity to use that shark trap. Don't matter, buddy. I'm safe on the boat. So I'm expecting more snipers. I don't know why they're not here. Did I get anybody? Nope. Huh, all right. So this is a pretty um, long chapter. Listen to this. Wow, what the hell am I shooting at? <laughs> yes, yes, he did say hell planes. Yeah, that is bullshit. Every one of those missed? That's bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. That was a headshot, fucker. If you want to hear the rest of the story, you got to read the subtitles because I'm going to be in uh, empty lung for a while. So you're coming. Oh, no way. I am not going out there. I'll be alive. <laughs> oh, my God, that's such bullshit. Okay, normally I wouldn't asso associate anything cute with zombies, but we're going to see some cute zombie shit. Look at the wall. Look at the wall. Oh, I didn't do it. Damn it. I had meant to leave him not killed so that you could see him do the sword fighting with the doll. And against the wall, it actually looks cute. But I was trying to keep my combo going, and I totally forgot about the cuteness of it. Which is weird to be saying cute in relationship to zombies. I think this may be one of the places I might be able to do a 666 if I get it right from the very beginning. I don't think there are enough enemies just in this zone alone to reach the max combo. But if from the very beginning I'm able to maintain the combo all the way through... Which I think is doable. I might be able to get a 666 out of this. 
uh, this chapter. Stay down, bitch. Ugh. If I had like a couple more seconds, I could have kept the combo going. Looks like the controls have been tampered with. There are parts missing. Better get searching then, eh? You're not going anywhere by that bridge is down. I'm planting this for later, but we'll see what happens. Planted. So I need him to come out the door so that that can happen. You saw he tried to be slick, you know, try to jump out on me. But because I didn't immediately walk in the door, he had to come out and make a move and got shot in the face for it. Bitch ass see freaking trip set off my mind that wasn't supposed to happen how did those two shots miss come the f on that is pretty darn cool i think i will do a pistol run with Jun at some point because her her perk is that it takes less kills to activate uh, the bullet time thing like how are those missing how are those fucking missing game like I'm aiming right at the center of his chest and it's just passing through him that's what's supposed to happen you're supposed to explode in the chunks like that not this bullshit it's missing. That was dangerous because the explosive round could have uh, set off that um, the explosive canister in the ground. So lucky me. Maybe a resistance safe house. If so, I doubt it's safe any longer. So I'm maining the pistol here. This way, when I go and pick up the, the gear. So yeah, see, that's what happened. I didn't get lucky that time. So I did the takedown and get my health back. But yeah, that was unprofessional on my part. I apologize. So like I'm saying, I'm maining the pistol right now so that I can have the bullet time maxed out when I pick up the, um, the gear so I can take out six at a time. Okay, here we go. We've got bullet time. Here we go. Bruno, could these dead Nazis have something to do with the invasions? Bullet time cleared us a path. I'll investigate on this end. Perhaps Schweiger would know something about this Nazi suicide cult. And this is why the attachments are good, because you don't need headshots. A body shot with the attachment on will, if it's a shock one, will cause your head to pop because of the electricity. Hmm. That hurt. Like, I did not want that to happen. Like, seriously? It's in, but it looks like more are missing. You better find them then. Go, pronto. Pronto my ass. Like, I don't know what I need to do, Bruno. I'm a professional. 
I don't need your judgment, Bruno. I'm the man doing all that he can. So I've switched guns this way I don't have to use the pistol right now because I'm going to need the uh, the attachment when I pick up the second and final gear. And it's pointing me in a direction that I've never seen the gear before. But I figured I'm not going to argue with the compass the compass because you know it's the compass who am I to doubt let's do this do do do, do this he's too dangerous to run past because of the gun This one is challenging because you're slowed down by the water and they will materialize directly in front of you and block your escape. But we have the attachment, so we'll take the hit. We will take the hit. I don't remember why I'm going back. Oh, for that? Oh, I know. So I can use the health and get a new one. And no one's going to step on it, assholes. Or will they? I don't remember. I left my prize. And I'm stuck on a door. I'm literally stuck on a freaking door. Uh, sometimes this game, man. Sometimes this game. Mm-hmm. I really, 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 really love that trap. That trap just cracks me the hell up. It's a public service announcement. Attention all zombies. <laughs> uh, look at this motherfucker right here. He's like, ah, you're closer. I can smell your brains from here. All right, it's about to get on and popping, y'all. Shit's about to get real. Hold on to your pants and your panties. Tighten up your bra strings and your jock straps. Shit's about to go down. Oh, come on. Get the hell off my bridge, bitches. Hopefully that'll clear the bridge. Nope. Because chunks of them are still alive. They just refuse to not keep coming. And the bridge has to be clear before we can make progress. So this is really annoying. I'm, I should have waited until I crossed the bridge to trigger that second trap because then that would have attracted them off the bridge and allow me to move forward sometimes I feel like the shock is useless because it doesn't kill it stuns fuckers just get right back up 
I think fire might have been better. Fucker's not dead. Can't close the damn bridge. God damn it. Finally. Okay. So all that stuff about, about tightening up your jock straps and your bra straps. Now is when it really applies. Like, I did not want to do that freaking annoying ass game sometimes, man. Here they come. Keep them away from the controls. You light up my life. You give me the burns. Now it's your turns. I think that'd be pretty cool. It'd probably smell like shit, though. Like, you know, if you were in this situation for reals, the stench of burning dead zombie flesh would just be repulsive on a whole insane and ridiculous level. All right. Introduction of a new enemy type, new boss type. Now, because it's four-player scaling, there's going to be two of them. So even though only one jumped down in the, um, what you call it, the cutscene, there will, there is two. So I'm trying to get the uh, overkill thing going. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day shooting at his ass. And now we have overkill. You can see it already cracked his helmet. So I'm utilizing the fact that they're drawn to the machine instead of me to do what I'm doing. Stud Doogie, you make it look so easy. How you do what you do, Doogie? Here's number two. This is risky. Because if I can shoot him, he can shoot me. It's all good. All right, just need to create some space. There's enough of them that I can get my overkill going. I should have chosen the ones on the right instead of the ones in front of him. There's a dude on my left. I sh like I'm as I'm watching pl the playback. I'm seeing opportunities to improve. Yeah, bitch. Like, how did that miss? Is a mystery to me. Get some health back. Get my overkill working. I have some. You know, I got like a couple seconds, 10, 15 seconds before those guys close in. I'm zigging and I'm zagging, bitches. Create enough space. Too much space in that instance. Oh, come on. That wasn't a miss, you bullshit ass game. Oh, my God. If you take a sniper rifle round to the head, even if you got a helmet on, you're done. You're supposed to be done. And that's your ass. 
I'm tired of this whole ricocheting off the helmet bullshit with a sniper round. Pistol, yes. Uh, assault rifle, yes. Submachine gun, yes. But not a sniper rifle. I mean, come on. I was about to say get real, but none of this is real. <laughs> I'm upset about artificial things, y'all. That's the benefit of gaming. A detachment from reality to exist in a different reality. And complain about different things. Let's do a little setup because there's going to be a lot of enemies spawning on this side. As we wait for the bridge to continue to go down. So it'll be a little bit proactive. Make sure we fully ammo it up. Here we go. That's right. Here we go. Part two. The ass whooping continues. So I'm shooting the ones in the front to give enough people a chance. See, it only affected like a few. I should have hit dude on the right, allow more of them to get caught up in it. Where the hell did he come from? I am aware, Bruno. I am aware. We've been doing this for like 20 minutes now. I don't need you to tell me to push him back. That's the whole point. Bruno missed the freaking obvious. I know what you guys are thinking. There's no way he's going to make it. There's no way. He's too far gone. I know he's Stud Doogie, but not even Stud Doogie can come back from this. The mistakes were critical. And but you would be wrong. Booyah, bitches. With 110 on the combo meter with my hot glowing pink numbers. So we did it. We did it. The hard part is over. We took down two machine gunners and a shit ton of zombies. You read me. Still nothing. Whatever's happening up there must be interfering with the signal. So there's really nothing left to do other than ride the boat. Until, um, you have to make your way foot from here. So, until we get to the dock. I'm headed to the north docks. Then to the evac point. Hopefully I'll see you there. Copy. Thanks for your help, Victor. Oh, uh, oh don't mention it. <laughs> Victor, he's all <laughs> demure. Don't mention it. It's all good. I was happy to help, even though I was shit in my pants the whole time. It's all good. So this is the base. Fences look strong. Must have taken a lot of dead to breach them. All right, y'all. So that's it for this one. We'll let the score run and do the thing, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.
Be on the lookout for survivors. The resistance forces should be gathered somewhere nearby. Let's hope so.